What's up? Good morning, good night, good afternoon, you beautiful patriots, you, you awesome Americans, you lovers of the Constitution. Happy day. Look, real quick, I'm just going to throw this out. We need GOP to step up and start mouthing out voter ID and election transparency and to battle fentanyl. We really need that. Now, I want to play a little clip for you. Um, hang on a minute. Let me just show this to you. Check this out. Most Americans agree that voters should have to show a valid ID before voting. In fact, not just most, but nearly all. According to a recent Harvard-Harris poll, 87% of Americans support voter ID. All right, 87%, right? Now, if you go through, like I watched Scott Adams. He always says 25% and under of any poll is usually goofballs, right? This went below the mark. This went to 13%. If 87% doesn't tell you right now, all right, uh, this is a Harvard-Harris poll, uh, 2021. So I would rather see what it looks like now, but I had to show you this. As of 2021, it was 87%, right? Lords, it's not extreme, it's the mainstream. Back with us, Rob Smith, what do you make of it? Yeah, well, Steve, you know, the funny thing about this is, is that uh, I came out as a Republican about three years ago this weekend, and it kind of has become this big thing. And I'm always shocked that me being a Republican is in any way controversial at all, because the things that I believe right. in are the things that the majority of Americans believe in. You see? Now, of course, for TV and cameras, you know, we have to see this, and it's brilliant, and it's beautiful, but... I admire this man, Rob Smith, for say, he said three years ago he had a change of heart. What do we do? We hug. We hug. We bring him in. Um, things yes. like voter ID, things like border security, things yep. like putting America first. And when it comes to this voter ID conversation, it's very interesting that for the Democrats, um, there is a Democrat-run state, Rhode Island, has very strict voter ID laws, but it has been Democrat-controlled. They haven't voted for Republicans since 1984. You see? So Democrats are not really worried about voter ID laws in the states that they control. It's only in the states that they want to control more. You see that? That's why we got to fight. That's 100% why we have to fight. All right, so do me a favor, follow me, you know, uh, on my Twitter, on my TikTok. If you're a patriot and you just want transparency, that's where we got to start. And we have to make sure that the GOP open their mouths and fight for America. Forget Trump and DeSantis right now. We know their game. We know, you know... They're, they're actually almost, well, let me just say, DeSantis has a lot of little quirks that he might have learned or has naturally that Donald Trump had. But 45 came in and broke things. So that's why the left got mad. And half the right in up in the, the politics there. Because they have all their ways of doing things. And, and a businessman, a billion dollar businessman, forget TV, forget all that. Which probably helped him with you know what he's what he does in front of cameras and all, but a billionaire came in and said this is wrong. We want America first, and he started breaking things. And I don't think he's done. Even if he doesn't get elected, I think he's going to you know keep figuring out how to break things. But forget all that. Push that aside. What we need is our leaders. Update. Pardon that. I'm sorry. What we need is our leaders to stand up. And say what we want them to say, what we believe them to say, what will save the Constitution and our rights as Americans. So on that note, I love you guys. Kiss, love, hug a veteran. Shout out to Leah for helping me. Oh my God, I can't do it without her. And uh, uh, Dave, I love you, brother. Thank you for all your help. And also Gretchen over at Code of Vets. I always plug her. She, I don't even know if she knows it or not, but... I always plug her. I love you guys, and I will see you on the next video.